Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can develop a function in MQL5 that automatically moves your stop loss to break even as soon as your open position is in profit for a certain number of points. As you can see, I've just created a new expert advisor and let's go all the way down here and let's create a function. So this function is of type boolean, meaning it will return true when we manage to place the stop loss at break even or return false if the function didn't manage to move the stop loss. So let's call the function move to break even and this function takes two parameters. The first one is the ticket number of the trade. So it's of type u long, let's call it ticket number. And the second parameter is an integer and I'm going to call it min trade plus. So that's the number of points we have to be in profit in order to move the stop loss to break even. Okay, inside the function, let's start off by validating the parameters. So let's say if position select by ticket and let's pass the ticket number equals true and, oh, and the min trade plus is greater than zero. Then we go inside the if statement and we can also add else and just say return false. Okay, so if the parameters are valid, then we first create MQL trade requests objects. Requests and MQL trade result. So we are going to prepare the order that modifies the open position. Okay, next let's start filling the request object. First off, request action is trade action SLTP for stop loss take profit and position equals ticket number because that's the open position we want to modify. Next we need to get some information about the open position. First off we need the position type which is of type long, long open position type and we use the position get integer function to get the position type. Next we need the current stop it's because it's a price value it's of type double, double current stop and we use the position get double function and we choose position SL. Next we need the current take profit, current take profit, again position get double and position underscore TP and what we can do immediately is say request dot TP equals current take profit because keep in mind we don't want to change the take profit but only the stop loss. Then we need another double variable let's call it open open price and let's use position get double position price open and we need a symbol of type string string symbol equals position get string and position symbol. Okay, now we need to get information about the market, especially the point value. So double 
point value equals symbol info double symbol and symbol point. Okay, next we need a variable that holds the current profit and it's of type double, current profit. Okay, so next we have to check what position type the open order is. So if it's a long or a short position. So let's create an if statement and let's say if open position type equals position type by and we can also create an else if else if position type equals position position type cell and let's add an else that basically returns false. Okay, let's start off with position type by. So the first thing we have to do is calculate the current profit. So current profit equals symbol info double symbol and symbol bit. We need to select the bit price, the current bit price and subtract the open price of the position. Okay, next we have to check if we can actually move the stop to break even. So first off, let's check if the current stop is below the open price or the current stop is zero. And let's group these two conditions. Okay, and we have to check if the current profit is greater or equal to our parameter min trade plus times the point value. So if that's true, then we want to set the request.sl to the open price because we want to move the stop loss to the open price to break even. And next we can create a bool, let's call it send and let's use the order send function and pass request and result as parameters and actually send the modifying request. And let's check if it was successful, so if send or if send equals true then we want to print stop move to break even and we want to return true. And of course if not, let's add an else statement, else return false. Okay, let's go inside the position type cell. And let's do the same. The current profit is this time it's the open price minus symbol info double symbol and this time symbol s. So that's the current profit. And then we can go ahead and again check for the conditions. So if the current stop current stop 
is greater than the open price, remember we have a short position. So if the current stop is above the open price or the current stop equals zero, again let's let's just group these. And the current profit is greater or equal to min trade plus times the point value. Then we want to move the stop loss to break even. So again, request.sl equals the open price. And will send equals order send request and result. And again, let's check if, if order sent was successful. If it was, let's print stop moved to break even and of course return true. If it wasn't successful, let's return false. Okay, so let's compile. Okay. Okay, not everything returns a return value, so let's. Yep, okay, now it works. Yep, okay. So let's actually test the function. I'm just going to open a yeah, very simple trade without any trading conditions. So I'm going to do this very quickly. So I'm going to, in the global scope, I'm going to create a Boolean, let's call it order on chart and a U long variable that holds the order ticket. Inside the on initialization function, I'm going to set order on chart to false because at the moment of initialization, there's no order on the chart. And inside the on tick function, I'm going to say if there is no order on the chart, then we want to place one. This way, we only place a single order and not a new one with each new tick. So let's just create the trade request. and the trade result. Let's set the action to trade action deal. The price is symbol info double current symbol. Let's say the ask price. So we want to open a long trade request symbol is the current symbol and the type is order type by so it's a market order order volume let's say one lot deviation yeah let's say five request comment And the stop loss is symbol info double. The current bid price minus because it's a buy order thousand times the point value and the take profit is the same. This time the ask price plus 1000 times the point value and request type filling. Let's set it to order filling fill or kill. Let's send the order, order placed equals order sent, pass the request and result object. And if order placed, 
then the order ticket variable is set to result dot order which is the ticket number of the of the new order and order on chart equals true and we want to print order placed successfully and let's add an else statement else let's print order not placed including the return code and okay very important um, if order ticket is greater than zero so if there's an open order then with each new tick because we are inside the on tick function we want to check if we can move the stop to break even we need to pass the order ticket and let's say 500 as mint rate plus let's compile it okay no warnings so let's let's try it okay so i'm inside the strategy tester and you can see i basically immediately placed the trade and you can see the performed order placed successfully and let's speed things up a bit Okay, now we are in profit, but remember I have set the mint rate plus to 500, which is 50% of the distance to the take profit. And there you can see stop moved to break even, position modified, and now the stop is at break even. Okay, so everything worked fine. I hope this video was helpful if it was feel free to leave a like and if you are interested in developing and modifying your own expert advisors then feel free to subscribe see you next time bye